Welcome to Melbourne Private Apartments, the city's premier luxury waterfront accommodation right in the heart of Docklands. My name is Lana Murphy and today I'm joined by tennis superstar Denis Shapovalov. He's 23 years old from Canada and one of his country's best. After cracking the world top 10, he's back here in Melbourne for the Australian Open and a guest here at Melbourne Private Apartments. Hello, Dennis. How's it going? Very well, thank you. Welcome. We are sitting in a beautiful room right now, having a stunning look over the water here. What's it like staying here at Melbourne Private Apartments? Yeah, it's definitely amazing. Uh, obviously, just alone having an apartment, you know, to to cook, to kind of feel at home while you're not, well, while you're on the road is, is special. But uh, of course, being here by the water, the views are, are spectacular and the area in general is uh, super, super nice. and and quiet so it's uh it's definitely kind of the thing you're looking for before big tournaments like uh like australian open in terms of location how do you find it is it pretty easy to get to the tennis center very easy i think it's like a 10 15 minute car ride every day so it's uh super easy i think we just go down Collins street you know and then we just go over the bridge so it's uh Fairly straightforward and uh, yeah, like I said, the area here is super nice, super quiet, so it's uh, it's pretty perfect. I love that you already know the street names, you already yeah. know the route around. I've been, been here a couple of times, so I'm starting to get by. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of um, Melbourne itself, what do you think your favourite thing about our city so far is? Um, actually, it reminds me a lot of my, uh, my home city, Toronto. Uh, it's by the water, you know, the people are super friendly, very international. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of everything, so it's, uh, it's, it, it makes me feel like I'm at home whenever I'm here. Beautiful. So you have been here a couple of times. Any favorite restaurants, coffee shops? What's your, what's your go-to when you come to our city? Yeah, I think my favorite restaurant has to be the Italian uh, restaurant Chicones. I always go and eat there. Remember last year before every match I was going to eat there and I was doing doing fairly well so I'll try to do the same this year. Before every match? That's interesting. The night before, yeah. yeah. I think all us, not me, I should not say me, but all the budding tennis stars are now going to head there and get yeah, their cup Yeah, they might, they might, but one table is definitely reserved for me, so got to book <laughs> early. <laughs> <laughs> so if people want to see you, that's probably where they should probably, go. Probably, probably there, yeah, exactly. I think <laughs> I'm going to start working for the restaurant soon, actually. <laughs> You should get a sponsorship yeah, like right? Sitsipas with his like stalactites, he's got his souvlakis. You should get like exactly. a pasta named after you or something. Exactly, it would be great. But we'll call it just the Shapa, not just the Shapa. Just the Shapo, yeah. Much easier to say. Very good. <laughs> um, in terms of, just back quickly to the apartments, how do you find staying in accommodation like this as opposed to say your standard hotel? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I think uh, most of the times on the roads we're at hotels, small little crammed rooms, you know, so to have to have space, to have a kitchen, to make it feel like, like you're at home is, uh, is special for, I think, for any player, especially for me. I don't like traveling so much, so I always try to, to look for that, that feeling of being at home, you know. So, especially when it's such a long tournament like Australian Open, you're here probably for two, three weeks at a time, you know. So, you want to, to kind of feel like, like you're living in, a, in an area, you know. You're not just coming back to a crammed little space, so it's, uh, it's definitely awesome. Have you had a chance to use any of the, the pool or the gym or the spa or anything like that? Most of my workouts and everything I'll do on site, but I have checked out the, the pool, the gym. It's very, very nice and easy to, to do your workouts and, and, and go for a swim. And yeah, definitely, definitely very, very like high class and, and ready to go. Up to your standards. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> How excited are you for this year's Australian Open? How do you think it's going to set you up for the, the year, I guess? Honestly, I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I played really well last year, made quarterfinals, and uh, took me a while after that to, to kind of find my game, you know, throughout the season. So it uh, was the first kind of year that I had a good kind of breakthrough in Australia. The years before, I felt like I've played well, but I haven't had big results. So we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I've got a tough draw ahead of me, but I'm playing some great tennis. I feel really confident and uh, hopefully I can take it far and uh, set up uh, set up a good start for, for the season. Speaking of that quarterfinal last year, it was an amazing effort against Rafa. How, what did you learn about yourself? What did you take out of that game? Yeah, just, just grew from it. Uh, obviously, a lot of learning experience to take from there. Uh, you know, it was great for me to fight from two sets down to come back. Got a little bit nervous in the fifth set there. Uh, Rafa did extremely well to, to stay patient and, and kind of close me out once he had the break in the fifth. But uh, just a big learning experience from Australian Open, but also after, you know, how to 
to kind of get back into it and uh, not not let uh, the confidence and everything slip away after a couple bad results. So was uh, was a lot to, to learn from from last year's uh, run. What's your opinion on, uh, I guess, the home crowd here? We can be quite rowdy at times. We're not quite up to Wimbledon standards, for example. No. <laughs> Especially when we've got someone like, you know, Kyrgios playing. If that was to happen, you were to come up against an Aussie. How do you think you'd fare with the Aussies, I guess, in the background? Honestly, for me, I love it. I think it's so much fun. Whether the crowd's with you or against you, it, it just like, it pumps me up and, and I love it. I think it's it's what we live for, what we play for, you know, and I, I do like to get into it with the crowd too, for better or worse, you know, but obviously it's just all part of the game for me. And uh, it's it's one of the big reasons why I play. And, and obviously I've always loved Australia. I feel like the crowds, like you said, they're electric, they're they're super energetic and they're into it. So it's it's a lot of fun to, to be out there and I remember some some amazing crowds from last year, you know, so it was, uh, it was definitely a lot of fun and it's, it's always special to, to play here. You've been pretty active with the ball kids as well. I think you've always been quite, you know, complimentary of them and we saw recently here in Melbourne you did a little promo thing with them. Why do you care so much about the ball kids and I guess how do they motivate you? Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, I think the ball kids, they don't have to do what, what they're doing, you know, uh, it's just kind of a privilege for players to, to have them and uh, obviously first and foremost, we're kind of like mentors to them, obviously they're all looking up to us, so I think it's important how we act around them and how we interact with them because, uh, you know, ultimately they, they want to grow up too, it's also be kind of like you, like players and, and they, they really look up to, to all, the, all the athletes, I think, so. I think that's super important, but uh, in general, I think for me, it's it's pretty cool to to kind of see some younger kids looking up to you, even in the matches. You know, you you hit a shot and you look back, and the kid is like stunned. You know, it's 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 a really cool feeling, and also just like getting balls and and just seeing them kind of like almost shook a little bit or, or really looking up to you. You know, for me, it's it's really special and. Uh, to have that kind of bond during the matches and, and that feeling, it's it's special. You feel like you're doing more than than just playing tennis and just just playing your match, you know. So for me, it's it's always really cool to interact with the ball kids. I feel like I've always done some some things like I did this week, like the photo shoot with the ball kids, and uh, yeah, I think it's just really cool to even see them around the the stadiums. You know, this week, last week, they're all now saying hi to me and getting a little bit more comfortable with me. So it's uh, it's really cool. It's awesome, and it's really good to see a tennis player with that attitude. So yeah, thank definitely. you. Thank you. Thanks for staying here at Melbourne Private Apartments, and uh, good luck with thank the Australian you. Open. Appreciate it. Thank you.